Hi, and welcome back to another demonstration scenario from HP about the ArcSight Logger version 6 uh, product set. Uh, now, I've got another demonstration to run through. It's relatively short, but I want to uh, use this as an opportunity to, to have a, a demonstration and a talk around uh, what we call categorization and normalization. So it's worth bearing in mind that uh, we have uh, always used uh, the mechanism of using this, what we call categorization and normalization, to look at the log data uh, and to enrich it by adding some additional meaning and some additional data to that, putting it into consistent fields, making things like the date and time be consistent as well, uh, to ensure that there is uh, an easier way of addressing and searching and looking for the data that we want to use. Um, we've always maintained that and uh, w what often is, is missed is, is there are some genuine advantages in looking at it in this particular way. Uh, and actually I just want to give a very quick s couple of scenarios around why, uh, why we use this and, and how you can leverage this to, to really get some, some advantages uh, rather than having to dig down into, for example, having to write things like regex or very, very complex searches uh, to identify multi-device uh, or different uh, different log sources uh, in a single report. So what I've just done is I've, I've jumped through to the uh, search uh, capability and I could just type a simple search here. Uh, what we actually do have is that we have some pre-saved searches on this one. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, click on that so I can actually load some previous searches. And actually what we do have is we have uh, some existing ones here. It's, a, it's got what's called a demo failed login. So I'm actually going to click that, uh, load it, uh, and click go. And hey presto, we have a whole bunch of uh, events. You know, I've got some, some demo events running into my logger system here. And we can see some lots of information here. There's lots of data here. There's lots of uh, information uh, with regards to failed logons and so on. Um, now, OK, I, I can just uh, see a, a very simple list there. Most of it seems to be coming from Unix. But what I can do is I can just click on the product there. And actually, it will give me a breakdown. A lot of it's come from Unix. There are some other things from BoxNet. Uh, there's even some from mainframes and, and Microsoft Windows in as well. How have we actually done that search? Well, if you actually just go up to, to, to look at the search that I've done, we're looking at category information, field information to see that data. So we can see that there's a, an authentication verify, what we call an authentication attempt. Uh, that's in what we call a behavior. And at the outcome in this case uh, that we're looking for is a failure. Now, obviously, that's a, a login failure. Uh, of course, if it was a success, it would actually say outcome is success and so on. Uh, we can see all that data across here with regards to all our categories. So we can see it's come from an operating system, uh, that it's an application. Uh, we can see if this what the significance and priority of this as well. So all that data is there, and it's consistent and more importantly it's consistent against the log sources it's consistent against the vendors as well so suddenly it starts to become quite a, a, an efficient and easy way of doing things uh, to display this data I don't have to understand that a, the, the, the slight different nuances between different versions of a product or different types and log sources as well but of course if I wanted to I can actually get quite clever and I can start to to display some of this data in a different way uh, device product so let's even just break it down and make it visual based on uh, different log sources that have generated that failed logon and actually we can very quickly see there's a whole different number of devices here have generated those failed logon attempts and I've just got a very simple uh, search in this case uh, chart view uh, around that so you can see that it it really simplifies the whole process simplifies my understanding I don't have to understand that for example it's a different event log messages between Windows 2003 server to Windows 2008 server to Windows 2012 server and so on I actually just deal with some very simple and straightforward uh, information here uh, of course what this really does is it significantly aids on the way that we want to do reports and how we want to display some of those reports as well. So I'm actually going to go in and very quickly look at some of these reports and just give a very quick example of, of how we do some of this field-based, normalized and categorized data uh, from a report capability. So we look at the reports. Uh, in this case, I want to go to the Report Explorer. Uh, so we just click on that. Uh, and now I want to go to my demo reports that are actually defined here. Again, it's a demonstration system, so we've got a number of broken things that we can just demonstrate and, and, and show, show how we've done that. So uh, top failed logins by user. So I can just click on that one. Uh, I can now just do the quick run. Uh, I could actually just do the icon there, but I'm just going to do a quick run there with default options. 
Uh, and uh, hey presto, we can just do a quick run here. So let's just run that uh, to get that data uh, and see what's going on. And we'll just give it a second here to actually complete that. And hey presto, we've got a number. There's multiple pages here and we can see everything broken down. There's nice little charts and so on. Uh, so it's actually very simple and straightforward and we can break it down. More importantly, because we're leveraging the information that's based on the categorization so that authentication verify uh, that the outcome is a failure. I don't have to have a very complex and, and difficult way of doing things because it's leveraging all that data. Uh, I can then very quickly see that this is across different devices and different systems. In fact, I can see from a high level without actually digging into the data here at all, I can see obviously some of this data has come from Windows systems. I can see some of this data has most likely come from Unix systems. It's giving me the kind of data that I want to see in a very simplistic way. And in this case, it's auto-generated reports. We can get it to mail out uh, with that kind of information from a compliance or regulatory uh, uh, point of view. So a very quick and simple overview with regards to uh, the categorization and the information that we're using in there, and why it's useful from a security point of view to allow us to make some very quick decisions around what we're looking for, but more importantly, how that aids you longer term in making sure that you have a very consistent uh, way of addressing and looking at the data regardless of how things change and what versions are and so on and so forth. So with that, I will actually end this very quick demonstration and thank you for your time.